After a full year of hard work, a big piece of Evansville's history is getting a new future. The Carpenter House here in downtown Evansville has new owners, and today they showed off their renovation work. Forge for News reporter Claire Dugan has a look at the before and after. Well, we can't talk about the renovation of the home before talking about its history. Now, the Carpenter House was built by one of the wealthiest men in Indiana in the 1800s, and during the Civil War, it was a stop on the Underground Railroad. That history is exactly what the new owner wanted to preserve. In May of 2023, Teresa Cadniss bought the Carpenter House with plans to restore it and move her realty company inside. Now, one year later, that's exactly what she did. I love that people such as yourself saw it from the very beginning and saw how need of repair it was and now see the difference in it um, because you can't truly appreciate what all has been done until you've seen it from the very beginning. The home built by Willard Carpenter is over 175 years old. It's on the National Registry of Historic Places and was an integral part of the Underground Railroad. Teresa and her family wanted to bring the home back to its former glory, highlighting everything about the house that makes it what it is. Mr. Willard Carpenter did so much for the community. I hope that, you know, I can bring some value to the city of Evansville because this building has sat neglected for so long. Teresa says it was a lot of work with a lot of ups and downs, refinishing floors, patching holes, fixing windows and plumbing, and it's definitely not finished. It has been a long and tedious renovation process. We take two steps forward and three steps back, but um, it's been a great process. Over the years, the home has been used for office space and a television station before it sat empty. But now, Teresa brought in her new brokerage and her 10 real estate agents to fill the rooms and create memories for the future that lies ahead. To have um, my real estate business in this building uh, amongst some of the most historic buildings in Evansville is real exciting. Well, now their focus is moving upstairs to renovate and hopefully one day share that space with other businesses. Reporting in Evansville, Claire Dugan, 44 News.